the, the period of, of this call for tender only closed uh, very recently, and we still need to analyze the submissions that have been made and, and take the necessary decision. So I don't have an announcement to make uh, right now in terms of who will operate the platform, but we will, of course, communicate that in due course, as we have done earlier when we, when we launched the aggregate EU platform. Um, the, the idea is that this, um, the, the winner of this tender, the, the contractor, would indeed uh, operate the platform themselves. This is something um, where we are looking for specific expertise and a specific platform, and that's why we've gone through this process. Um, and then just on this uh, report that you mentioned, so indeed we've, uh, we've commissioned a, a report from an external uh, aid, uh, consultancy uh, which has not yet been finalized, but it will be assessing how the energy platform has been functioned and has been functioning until now and how we can uh, adapt it in the future for, as you say, the possibility of using this tool uh, also for joint purchasing, for aggregation of demand for other uh, potential um, raw materials, uh, hydrogen, uh, CO2, for example. Indeed, the, the intention is that we have a contractor that manages this platform. Um, you know, as has been the case um, for the previous uh, joint purchasing rounds, this is something, of course, we we, are, we work in very close uh, coordination with the platform, uh, with the with the contractor. It's the commission which sets the terms, um, and then the implementation is done externally. Yeah.